Everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here for another exciting episode of Play or Pass, the review show where I play a game for a little while and I tell you what I think of it. On today's very special episode, we're going to be talking about Derek the Deathfin, a brand new game from what is it? I, I can't remember what their name is. Te Tuna, different Tuna. A uh, really, really, really cool game. Um, honestly, and it's independent. It's on the PC, Mac, and also available on the PlayStation Network. It's only eight dollars, which is a fantastic price to ask for a really, really unique game. Uh, this game may remind you a bit of a couple of games. Uh, some people have compared it to like Sonic. I think it is a lot like uh, Echo the Dolphin, if they actually made the game enjoyable. And then it also has like kind of a vibe of Little Big Planet aesthetic, but actually, well, I guess Paper Mario aesthetic that Little Big Planet later perfected. But this game was actually all made out of paper craft. Every graphic you're about to see in this game, other than like obviously the obvious graphics, I'm almost positive what I saw was that they made everything, everything is stop motion. Um, stop motion paper. So I, I don't really know how to explain or um, describe how they, what the heck? Oh, okay, I'm playing with the mouse right now. I haven't played with the mouse before, so I don't want to play with the mouse. Because that's weird. I'll play with the keyboard. Sorry about that. I didn't realize I had switched it. Okay, gotta get eat, 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 okay. The other ways you can play the game are with an Xbox 360 controller. Um, ironically, no PS3 controller, but then again, most computers don't have uh, P or a PS3 controller support built into them. Um, so I've already played all these levels, so you'll see that all these gems right here have already pretty much been collected with the exception of a few. Get it! There we go. I only have two gems I haven't picked up yet. Um, so I was going to go ahead and just show a couple of the first basic levels real quick and uh, then go into some of the later levels. Uh, so Derek the Deathfin, basically the idea of the game, it's kind of hard to explain the gameplay style. Basically it's like Bit Trip Runner where you need to get from one side to the other, um, all the while eating to make sure you don't starve. Um, with ones like this, your only objective is to uh, be fast. Um, so there's different types of levels, there's actually some boss fights too, which I didn't realize there would be in the game and I was actually really happy when I found them. Um, but these speed route, these speed ones are really fun. It can take a little while to get used to controlling with the keyboard, but after a while you get used to sensitivity. Plus, when you hold the shift key, you start to go faster, and uh, it could take a little while to get used to that kind of speed. Woo! But yeah, if you've ever played Echo the Dolphin, you can understand why I'd say it's similar to similar to that of Echo the Dolphin, which isn't a bad thing at all. That was a pretty cool game, but I feel like this one's much more engaging. Um, in addition to getting from start to finish and race levels, you'll also get some of these puzzle style levels, which actually these are some of my favorites. Uh, so we'll see here. We have uh, unlimited time to do this, we don't have to worry about starving when we do this. We'll see here we have a drill, uh, one of the drills that the Mean Corporation is using, and we have to find a way to destroy it. So if we come over here, oh, nothing over there. So then if we come up here, we'll see there is a sea mine up there. So what we can do is we can go ahead and shoot up to the top and uh, kind of slowly knock over the sea mine. Come on, maybe, if I can do it. Oh, no, no, I went over it. I went over the sea mine. Oh, oh, all right. Sometimes, you'll see, like, even though I've been playing this for about a, a half hour or so, I still have a little bit of trouble controlling it. Uh, the con I, played, I played it briefly with a controller um, on my PC partition. And uh, the, the Xbox 360 controller really is the best way to play it. Oh gosh, I don't want to move it up down that side. I mean, I can, but 
I don't really want to. Actually, I don't know if I can or not. Let's just see if I can do that that way, because I'm obviously... Actually, yeah, I can do it. I'm pretty sure I can do it either way. It could take a while to get to the controls, you know, as I'm saying. Oh, there we go. But that doesn't make it a bad thing at all. I mean, it's if it was easy to control, it wouldn't be as much of a challenge. Um, also, I hold the shift key constantly, which makes you go... See, this is without shift key. This is with the shift key. It's a pretty big difference. Shift key, no shift key. So, that's why I'm, like, moving so uncontrollably fast. But as I said, the Xbox 360 controller does make it easier. So, by putting the C mine there, we knock over all the pieces. And there you go. Justice is served. So, we got another one of these little cutscenes. And, like, honestly, this game's music is one of its... The music is awesome. I love the music. The style of this game is just magnificent. You know, between the music and the obvious the design is just it's all so fantastic and I just love it. I am seriously falling in love with this game. I'm I'm really, really glad. Thanks again, um, for giving me a review copy, guys, if you're watching this. I really, really appreciate being able to show off this game. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, basically the way you unlock new levels. See at the bottom left it says to unlock next zone. You need to destroy 15 burning tires and pick up 640 gems. Which really isn't that difficult. I will explain to you in a minute. <laughs> the visible part of an iceberg is called an iceberg. Oh wow, this... Oh wow, this... Oh my god, why are we moving so fast? <laughs> Holy shit. There must be a button you can push to move faster. So like, once again, you can see we have that meter up top uh, that has um, how much hunger you have and the higher your hunger bar is, the well, the closer you get to death, I guess. So you want to try and keep in the green zone. Anytime you do like some kind of high maneuvers or anything like that, it starts to um, scroll down. But some um, animals you can eat kind of heal you a lot faster than others. And I totally did that wrong. I was supposed to eat one of those peppers, which um, propel you much faster. So yeah, kind of a I wouldn't I don't I never know what to call games like this. I guess it, in essence it is a side scroller. Um, oh god, I'm in trouble. Right, there we go. Um, these things also allow you to move a little bit faster. They basically put you on like blinded eating rages. See like that. So they're pretty cool. Oh god. Keep bumping into everything. Ah no! You want these peppers. Wait, the peppers don't give you food? Oh no! I'm screwed. I'm screwed! I'm screwed! Yeah, I, I should have just kept going the other way. Oh god. This is freaking me out. I can't handle it. Alright, so that one allows you to go in a vortex and eat anything in the surrounding area. Oh god, that, is, that makes me dizzy. Um, and you also want to make sure you try and get as many tires as possible. You can always come back to levels, obviously, and try again to get um, all the tires. Okay, eat, please. Sometimes you just gotta slow down and eat anything in the area. Make sure you're not gonna just starve. I like how this level's design is, though. Okay, there's one up there, but I don't think I can reach it. Don't want to starve. That one will propel me faster if I get it, but yeah, no, never mind. That didn't work. I don't think I can reach this one. From oh, I, I, I almost had it. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. You can also eat like seagulls. You can eat people. Oh, come on! The problem with this one is it propels you to um, what the heck? Why did I get? I don't know what that is. Maybe I got like a secret of some sort. I don't really know. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get that tire. I, obviously, they don't want me to go this way to get it, so... Ooh, there's walrus. I'm going to eat the walrus. Um, these things also refill your hunger meter, uh, so you can take your time and collect them all if you'd like. Alright, we didn't do very well. We only got one tire and didn't eat very many of the jewels. But that's okay, we can always come back. See, so yeah, as I said, this game is quite challenging, and there's nothing wrong with a challenge. Um, and once again, using a keyboard is somewhat difficult. It just takes some getting used to. But after a while, you will get the... Oh, what does broccoli do? I don't know. I probably should have grabbed it again, but oh well. I made a mistake. I should probably get that. Oh. I just want to know what this broccoli does. Oh, wait. Oh, I see what this is wanting me to do, though. Right here. Right, hold on. I want to do this. Why am I not going fast? I'm screwing up. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> you guys are probably going to be much better than it, than I am. I wish I was doing better so I could like show it off. What the fuck? I guess I'm just not jumping at the right time when I'm going out of the water. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. Kinda. 
So yeah, if you didn't see it, it said we were in the South China, not South China Sea, I don't think. But we're basically we're in Asia, so you'll notice a lot of Asian influences and in all the art. God, oh god, oh no, oh no. Also, as we get into farther levels, it's very obvious to me that our health goes on faster. What the hell? Man, I died. And unfortunately, there's no checkpoints. I mean, the levels are relatively short, so there's no reason for there to be checkpoints. Um, other than I'm terrible at this game. Come on, hurry up. Whoa. There we go. And yeah, so they basically just reset you, so anything you collected in that previous run is pretty much null and void. You gotta recollect it all. But, you know, that's... It made it a little too easy. Oh, what the hell? Why can't I successfully go around this thing? That's not what I wanted. See, as I said, this game is available. It has been available on uh, the PSN for quite a while, I guess. Actually, not quite a while. I think it became available in October. Um, and I actually just got a PS3, and I'm kind of bummed I didn't just get this game on there. But I'm not entirely used to buying games on my PS3 yet, which I just recently got. Okay, come on. Get down there. Is there nothing to eat again in the same spot? Get down there. Get down there. God dang it! That was way too close for comfort. That was... Scant, like in the music, once again, the music gets makes you really nervous and you're like, I'm not gonna make it. It'd be nice if it wasn't running out so fast. I just wanna get this tire. Oh god, get it! Nope. I don't think and I don't think getting a tire will um heal you at all. Cause it totally should. Actually it might, let's see. Oh my god, I can't get it. Get it, get it, get it. Nope, no 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 no. What the hell? Where's this one? Oh my god, this fucking game. It's really, I think the other issue too with my playing in this right now is I'm commentating and it can be really difficult to commentate and play a game like this at the same time. There we go. I guess it's implied that I'm supposed to go in here right after. Come on, get out of here. Get out of there. Man, what are you doing? I'm just kind of trying to take my time so I can actually get to this successfully. How many tires are there in this area, man? I see the way this one wants me to do it. Oh god, I'm about to die again. Alright, I just want to finish the level. I don't even care about these damn tires anymore. I guess those are like for high scores. I, I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. Get the tire, you fuck! Alright, um, give me that, give me that. Oh god. Oh, it's that close to the end anyway. Oh, this game is stressing me out, man. We're going to definitely have to revisit some of these levels because we are just not doing very well at collecting this stuff. So it's an $8 game that's available on PC and Mac, and one of the main reasons I wanted to do a video on this actually... Okay, so now we have a different type of uh, speed one. Speed one, whatever I'm trying to say. And this one seems to be more based around close quarter. What the hell? What the fuck just happened? I'm running out of time. the hell? That was confusing. My brain couldn't comprehend what was going on in that one. But yeah, the main reason I want to do a video on- what the- what? Wait, did I beat that last level? I'm a little confused. But, alright, I'll accept it, I guess. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, the game's $8. Um, it's not available on Steam, unfortunately. It's available through the Humble Marketplace, uh, which is basically like the Humble Bundles way. Hey, there's Bishop Runner in the back! That's awesome. Actually, I, didn't I, I'm pretty sure I compared the game to Bishop Runner earlier, which obviously I did not mean it as an insult because Bishop Runner is one of my favorite indie games, as it is a lot of, favorite, a lot of people's favorite indie games. Come on. Come on! So, like I said, collecting these gems is as important, if not more important, than, uh... If you don't collect these enough of these gems, you have to come back and do the levels over again anyway, so... Might as well make sure you try and get as many as possible while you're actually playing. And there's no shame in going slower through some of these sections, because as you collect the gems... Oh, there we go. Actually, I ended up getting more of that time. Because as you collect gems, you, uh, fill your hunger bar back up. So, like, come down here, eat this crab, you know... No big deal. I kind of want to eat all these people up here as well. Or maybe that's just not in the cards for me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Come on. 
Get him. Get him all. Eat them all! But yeah, see, oh, I guess those are metals then. I didn't realize that. I feel like a moron now. Oh no, walruses! I feel bad for eating walruses. Okay. So that level wasn't so bad, I guess. High score! But yeah, the music's really good. Um, I'll play through a couple more levels. I think this is going to be a, another puzzle one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So we can relax a little bit on this one. So we have some more sea mines here. Or another sea mine, I guess. Oh, it looks like we changed the perspective a bit on this, too. That said USSR. That's funny. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a Russian submarine. So I guess every time we want to go a little bit faster to go ahead and blow these up. There we go. So this one, we probably want to go faster and then hit at the last minute. Maybe. Whoa. That was super... Oh, dang it, I accidentally skipped the... Oh, no, I didn't skip the cutscene. Good. Because the cutscenes are, like, the best part. Because the, uh, the music... And I love that little segue saw, the little Derek. Oh, and the the middle things are really funny too. If you get a chance to like see what they say, they're pretty funny. So wait, where's that stopwatch level again? Since I did so terrible at it, let's try this one again. Because I think it unlocks an extra level for us if we do it well. But I don't think it's gonna happen. So I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. I don't have a very fast mind. Damn it. Damn it. No. Oh god, oh god, oh no, 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 no. What do I do? Where do I go? Okay. Oh, I did. Did I beat the level last time? So. Fastest, but it wasn't fast enough to get a medal. So, I'm gonna try it one more time. I think I know what I need to do now. Maybe. I feel like I'm just going too fast through this, and I can't control myself very well. Oh, and I am playing this game on full screen, by the way. That really is the best. Ah, no! That really is the only way to play it. Come on, go, 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 go. Okay, cool. I got a medal that time. Yay! Pufferous boxes. Oh, but I guess it didn't unlock another level. Huh. Alright, so I'll go ahead and finish some of the Asian le the Asia levels. Might as well. Ooh, this level's all gray. So I guess we're playing Russian-themed levels now. Oh, I didn't. This is another race level. Interesting. Got all these jagged fucking. Ah, this is stressing me out. I'm not gonna make it. It's, I don't even know how close I am. Oh god, no, not these fishies, no! Get away. Damn it. Did I win? Did I get a medal? I didn't get a medal. But I did complete the level, which is good enough for me. <laughs> okay. So we got two more levels. Um, but I'll tell you right now, making the stupid tips helps you feel less lonely. Oh, that was sad. Or was it helped me feel less lonely during development? I think that's what it said. See, this game's got such a good sense of humor, and I... I uh, ooh, what am I doing? Ew! Why is there a yellow rain? What the hell? Oh, wow. I didn't even mean to do that. Yes, I did. Okay, uh, let me get off. Let me off! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Had to take my finger off the turbo boost. I guess we're out of the Russian levels. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I give this game a play for sure. I mean, it is a lot of fun, and it's got such an interesting art style. And it can be it can be really challenging. It's got a, re a lot of replayability. Um, I think it has over 40 levels, uh, so it's only eight bucks. And I, I mean, in my opinion, it's totally worth it for that. Um, and if you're trying to like get a full like completion, uh, the full completion of this game is definitely not easy because you know you gotta oh god you got uh, tires to fly through. Like there's apparently four tires in this level, and I haven't flown through a single one yet. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Where do I go? Oh no! That's unfortunate. Okay, maybe now is a good time to end the video though. I mean, I don't want to show off too many of the levels. Um, I'd rather you guys play it for yourself. Uh, but yeah, the game is called Derek the Deathfin. 
It is only $8. It is not available on Steam, however, they are trying to go through Greenlight, uh, which I honestly think you guys should vote for it because it's a really, really good game. I'll go ahead and, okay, 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 get out of there. I think it's a fantastic game, obviously, and I think you guys should all try and vote it up on uh, Steam Greenlight. I'll go ahead and put uh, some spots in the description below. Oh, are all the tires like right here? Okay, 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 okay. get him, get him. Okay. Just relax. Just relax. Can I get these damn fish? What am I even bothering like getting them for when I can just get those? And those don't move. There we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Phew! That's a close one. Oh yeah, so they're trying to get on uh, certification through green, green. Oh my god, I can never say it right. Steam green light. I said, I think I said green steam light, steam light or something like that in my uh, Euro Truck Simulator review, which I still feel like a total idiot for getting wrong. But I, I thought it was kind of funny in retrospect. I'm screwed again. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Okay, what? I'm oh, gonna die. Get the fucking fish! Okay, I can't play this anymore. I, this is just getting embarrassing. Okay, guys, but uh, Derek the Deathfin, it is available on uh, PC, Mac, and the PSN, PlayStation Network. So if you have a PlayStation 3, you can always get it on that. Um, it is Xbox 360 controller compatible, and I do recommend that's what you use when you play, but keyboard isn't impossible, so it's not that big of a deal if you use a keyboard. Um, vote it up on Steam Greenlight. Go ahead and buy it um, in the description below. It also comes with the soundtrack, which is awesome. But guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thanks again to the developers for sending me a copy of the game. I really appreciate it. And uh, be sure to check it out. Anyways, I'm Red Panda Gamer. Like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do forget to share love. I'm Red Panda Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.